So this is... Fortunately, there won't... There's not that much more time left in the game where I'll have to, you know, be... Where I'll have to, uh, go, you know, leg out everything. Like, I'll, I'll have other ways to get around other than on foot and on horse. What am I doing? I'm losing track of where I'm going, that's what I'm doing. Well, I may make several cuts in this. I may cut out some of the leg work. Wait, how many few shadows are there again? Like three? Three, I have two, yeah. I'm going to go into the Lake Bed Temple to get the last one once I get this bomb bag. Oh yeah, and then you get the fast travel with that, right? When you get the third fused shadow, a bunch of stuff happens, but that will be for future sessions. I hate tech tights. Not tech tights. Because they can, they can just jump right over your shield. Like they are annoying in every single Zelda game. Actually, I don't think there's a single Zelda game in which they're not annoying. The ones where they don't appear. <laughs> like, um, in the original Zelda, they're annoying. In Zelda, I think, I think they have here to Zelda 2. There's some light. Oh, they have right. You're kind of cutting out. You still there? Yeah. Okay. The, um, your, your audio became really loud all of a sudden. I found out everything. Like I said, I my I microphone. I was just kind of thinking about all the different games that tech guides appear in. My microphone is not the best, as I've said. Okay. I wonder if anything happens if you light these torches. Fortunately, I somehow turned off my lantern before all the oil got used up. No! Strong current, do not want. I think that the, um, that your, your microphone is trying to, um, well, yeah, I wish I could turn that. I wish I could set it so that it didn't do that. I think our microphone does that, too. It does. Okay, so now it's time for the Zora armor. Yes! It's also time to save, because I haven't saved in a long time. The armor looks awesome. Okay, so when you have the Zora armor equipped, you're usually going to have the iron boots equipped too. Or set. What's in here? Look at that, Kendall. Yes, I just it. It's awesome. The best armor ever. Alright, so here's this big lava rock thingy. What are we going to do with it? We are going to blow it up. What else? Zelda game that had a really good water dungeon. Like, I really liked the water dungeon in this game. And what do you know, there's a Goron. For some reason. Well, he explains why he's there. Wait, can he breathe underwater? Can I he guess. Water? <laughs> yeah, that is kind of weird. He survived lava and drowning. Gorons are pretty tough, you know. This guy. I agree, that's kind of beyond tough. This guy is amazing. Alright, anyway, so when you were wearing the Zora armor and you are not wearing the iron boots, you can swim sort of like in Majora's Mask, except you can't quite go as quickly and there's no barrier attack thing. All right, so now I have all three bomb bags. Oh, I like those Zora knights. They look kind of cool. Z oh, yeah. Um, all right, so nothing more left to do except to go into the Lake Bed Temple. Yes, I love this temple. 
I'd hoped it would be a wouldn't take that I hoped it I'd hoped it wouldn't take this long before I got to it, but because of my incompetence on the escort mission, that's the way it is. Sorry guys. That's good. I love this temple. This is like one of my favorite favorite temples. Okay. Back to the surface please. I think the Zora armor may also let you swim against currents more effectively. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I think it makes you swim faster. And thus be able to swim better against currents. Uh, trying to think. Is there a way that I can take that will just put me straight in like Hylia? Okay, yeah, only one way to go, and I think this is gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out of the water at some point. Oh well. Uh, this is looking familiar. They did such a good job with the music in this game. Yeah, um, the dungeon music isn't that great, but all the other music is good. Now, the reason I'm taking off the Zora armor is because there are archers who use fire arrows. Or if you're stubborn like me, you just keep it on and take the extra damage. <laughs> yes, Zora armor for viewers causes you to take... Is it double damage from fire and ice? I, I think it's either double damage or like 150% damage or something like that. Mm -hmm. But it's, it is increased damage. And it's fairly... Um, significant amount. You know, a funny thing, in real life, if you were rolling across a field, you probably wouldn't get there as fast as if you were just running. Yeah, you'd probably want up slowing down a bit. Wait, how the world is, does that work? Does what work? Like, where in the world did the cop with the idea that making a making link roll would make him move faster? Well, I think the idea is that is that you would get a is that you could get a temporary burst of speed but then players started doing it all the time when they figured out that they could you know just go faster in general like i don't think the designers intended for it to be used this way yeah it makes sense because normally you use a rule probably to dodge something yes exactly You also, huh? you also occasionally use it to knock things down. True. Or, or like, um, I think in, in um, the, uh, in Majora's Mask, when you had a Goron, the Goron Mask, you were able to, like, um, do a rolling attack, weren't you? Well, Gorons are special when it comes to rolling. They're like the, they're the masters of rolling. It, it's like taking it to the logical extreme. They're like, they're like Katamaris, practically, when it comes to rolling. It'd be kind of cool if, um, Gorons picked up enemies when they ran to roll. <laughs> Wait a minute, am I gonna have to pay this guy for him to get, get out of my way? I think I am. Oh well. Here's the happier clown. No thanks, I, I don't want to cuckoo, I just want to go down. Uh, Alright, so Colin, you'll be happy now. I'll be wearing my Zora armor for the next hour plus, probably. All right, now I just need to find what I'm looking for. I, 
I was thinking, wow, it really does get dark as you get deeper, and then I, it occurred to me, wait a minute, it's turning to night. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, I thought it was getting dark as it went deeper. Yeah, so did I. That would have been cool, but I don't think they actually do that. Now I'm having trouble seeing what I'm doing here. I guess I should just keep going down. You should look on the screen, because I'm, 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 I'm not having much trouble seeing anything. Well, I am looking on the screen. Where else would I be looking? Like the computer screen. I've been looking at the computer screen the whole time. Oh. Yeah, I'm oh, seeing I'm... in color. Maybe you should just put on the boots then, or I guess it's a little too late now. But... Okay, so you need water bombs to do this. Set one right here. Wait a minute, what did... Did that do what I wanted? And I just probably went off in the completely the wrong direction. I forgot um, about this part. Why are you getting flashbacks to Echo the Dolphin? <laughs> It's awesome. This the temple entrance? Oh, yep, I think that's it. Okay. I just laid a bomb in the wrong place. That's why I got confused. Okay, that explains it. Okay, this... There is a vent, but the vent is blocked. Lay a bomb to take care of that problem. Then lay another bomb to get rid of the rocks. And the temple is open. Hey, what happens if you talk to that guy up there? Let's find out. Yes, I really did it. And yes, I'm really going to end. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. There are a lot I don't of people know why who I love it, but it's just it's an awesome dungeon. I know there are a lot of people who hate it, but I am not one of them. Me either. I, I think I love how just puzzle oriented it is. I always like the puzzles in Zelda games. You know, admit it, you're just there for the Zora armor. Possibly. <laughs> yeah, jellyfish. At least it's not as obnoxious as the That would it, it would be difficult to get as obnoxious as that. I'm 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 I'm, I'm playing it on a virtual console, well, not right now, but lately, and I have no clue what to what to do. Was there a chest underwater that I missed? I don't think so. Yeah, this is another part of my hundred percent run. I'm getting all the chests in every temple. Okay, there are two chests in this room. I forgot what item you get this one. Ah, it's very cool. Um, wait a minute. Okay, I've already missed two chests. Uh oh. Which means back into the water. Ow. Zapped. Wee. <laughs> what? You said something about a water slide. Well, that, that's still a water slide. Anyway, I never understood why in Ocarina of Time you could never you, you couldn't use your sword when you were like when you were underwater. That always puzzled me. I mean, I could see that too, like you were trying to use it without the um, iron boots. But with the iron boots, I mean, you're stuck on the ground there. Well, that's... Well, no. It, Keish is right. There, it, there would be more resistance. Yeah, but I mean, it wouldn't be enough to 
to make it so you literally couldn't use it. No, but it would probably make it do less damage. I'm saying that's probably not a, not a problem with the sword as much as the arm. 